today I'm going to show you how to make my highly requested pumpkin pie. If you would like to know how to roast a pumpkin, check the description box for the link to the video tutorial on how to do that. Also, we have a very special three-way collaboration coming with Simply Sarah, the Hands That Cook, and myself on September the 29th, which is Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Cooking with Tovia and also on Instagram at Tovia Garden. So, first thing we're going to do is cream together the sugar and the eggs. My eggs are at room temperature. I'm going to cream this together for about two minutes or so. Next thing I'm going to add is the pumpkin. If you would like to know how to roast a pumpkin, please check the description box. I do have a tutorial on how to roast a pumpkin. And this pumpkin that I roasted, I didn't add any spices or anything to it. Just plain pumpkin. And then I mix it until it's smooth. Next, I'm going to add the cinnamon. I have here vanilla extract and caramel extract. Give that a mix. I have here half milk and half heavy cream. I use milk and heavy cream, or you can just use half and half. Nine inch pie, uh, pie crust that I made here. You can use store brought for it until it's. This is going to bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour until the custard is set and the crust is nice and golden. So it took about an hour and 20 minutes for it to get completely done. It's nice and uh, golden brown. Let's see, make sure the lights are better. So I'm going to let this completely cool before I slice into it. So my pie is cooled, and of course it will deflate. So I'm going to pre-slice it first. I like to pre-slice my pie because it just makes it easier for when you're serving, you know, especially like on a party or you're taking it to a guest house. Homemade whipped cream, and I'm just going to go around the outside of the pie with it. So now every piece gets some whipped cream. So here it is. I'm going to do a taste test. But let me show you the crust. It's nice and done. You can tell it's not soggy. It's held up perfectly. Mmm, oh my god, it smells heavenly. Look at that nice, soft, creamy texture. Mm. So good. Delicious. Creamy. Cinnamon flavor. And buttery from the crust that I used. That I made. Absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share this video. Leave me a comment. If you are new to my channel, please check out my previous videos. I have lots of videos. And starting soon, you will find every video on Monday. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. Please share this video. Also subscribe if you are if you want to keep up with my new videos. Mm. And hit that bell beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified of my new videos and live events that I have upcoming. Please remember to live and be well. Let's do what we can to come together to love one another. Thank you so much for watching.